Hey y'all, what's going on? Happy Monday. I pray that all is well with y'all. We're going to hop right into it. Today's topic for the last video in our purpose series is let's go. Let's go. Um, just for reiteration, the word purpose is the reason why something is done, created, or exists. Pointing that back to us, there is a reason why we were created to get something done, and that is why we exist. Um, sometimes we tend to um, over-prepare when it comes to walking in our purpose that we miss our goal when God is telling us to go because we feel like um, A and B have to connect, C and D have to connect, and E and F have to connect um, before we go. We can over-prepare so much that we miss it. There's nothing wrong with being prepared, nothing at all, because you need to, you know, like the Bible says, write the vision, make it plain, um, make your request known unto God. It's saying all of that. All of that is part of preparation. But also with that, we can be over-prepared because we just have it in our minds that everything has to be so perfectly laid out before we move, before we go. Even though all this time God is telling us to go, 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 go. But in our minds, things still have to connect the dots. It has to make that perfect connect the dot before we go. Um, and then we miss our goal because we're over preparing. But we have to get out of our own way, y'all, and we have to go. Um with that being said, what are you willing to leave to go? What are you willing to leave to um, get to your purpose? We all know that everything can't go with us to the next season in our lives. Some things we have to leave at that season where it was. Some people that we want to go with us to a next season, they can't. What are you willing to leave to go? If God is telling you to leave that person, leave that um, environment, leave those emotions, leave whatever he's telling you to leave, are you willing to leave it in order to go? It's time to go, y'all. Let's get it. Let's go. Um... And I do have a scripture reference that I am going to use to kind of back up what I'm saying. And I'm going, I'm not going to read it. I am going to paraphrase it. And it's Genesis, the 22nd chapter, the first through the 13th verse. And it is um, the story of Abraham and Isaac when um, God was preparing Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, his son offer him up as a sacrifice um going into the story abraham told his two servants that was with him um you guys stay here and we will be back keep that in mind okay you guys stay here we will be back so abraham and isaac are walking along and um isaac notices that they have everything um, that they need to present the sacrifice to God, except for the actual sacrifice. So he turns to his dad and he says, well, you know, dad, we have everything to get this purpose done, except for the sacrifice. Where is the sacrifice? And Abraham told Isaac, you know, God will provide. All while, Abraham knew that Isaac was the sacrifice. And also, remember I said earlier that he told his two servants, we will return. Now, to bring that into what I just told you guys about, sometimes we can be overprepared that we missed the goal. Abraham and Isaac 
were not overprepared. Isaac thought they were underprepared because the sacrifice was missing. But he was still ready to go and do what God had told them their purpose was to do. Now, Abraham, on the other hand, knew that the sacrifice was going to be his son. And he knew that he was going to have to sacrifice his son for the purpose that God had laid upon him to be done. So he was mentally, you know, preparing himself to sacrifice his son. He wasn't overly prepared, but he was prepared. He was prepared enough. He had enough faith in God and enough faith in the purpose that God had told him he was placed here for to sacrifice his son. He spoke with confidence way before they even went to complete this purpose because he told his two servants, we will be back. So, look at that. That's already Abraham going, y'all. Going to his purpose. Even though the physical sacrifice to Isaac was missing. But to Abraham, he was ready to go. He was ready to operate in his purpose. Even though Abraham had been praying for Isaac for so long. And he got him. But he also loved God enough and understood his purpose enough to go. And being willing to sacrifice his son, but yet speaking with confidence that we will be back. He didn't know how they both were going to come back, but he spoke with confidence that we will be back. And that is what we need to do, y'all. We need to go. God is already telling us, go, go, go. I got you. Each step of your process to get to your purpose, you feel like something is missing, but I'm there. I'm guiding you. I got you. All I want you to do is trust me enough, take this push that I'm giving you, and go. Abraham had every excuse to be like, no, I'm not going to do this. This is my son. I'm not going to go. But he was willing to leave his son, lose his son in order to go to his purpose. We have to be willing, y'all, to get out of our way, to stop trying to make the dots connect. And trust God step by step in faith that each part of our process, he's going to provide just what we need in order to go. But we're not going to be able to go if we keep over preparing and miss the go. There's a reason why you were created. There's a reason why you exist, because something needs to be done through you. So when are you going to go? If God keeps showing you what your purpose is, he keeps providing things for you to move into this purpose. He has now, at this season, y'all, with Corona, given us time to sit down Face ourselves. Look at ourselves. Tune in to him. Tune in to him. And tune everything else out because we can't do what we was doing. We can't go shopping like we want to. We can't kick it with our friends like we want to. We can't go on husband and wife dates. We can't, we can't do nothing but tune in to God. He has literally removed all distractions so that 
it can be go time. So listen, y'all. Just think about Abraham. He went and he was ready to Isaac. And right when he was finna, he looked up and it was a ram in the bush. God provided. God is providing us our rams, y'all. It might not look like it because this is an uncomfortable situation that we're not used to. But he, but it's about how you look at this situation while you're in it. God can provide you so much clarity while you're in this situation in order for when this is over, for when we come out, we're going to be ready to go. But it's all about how you look at it, y'all. You got to change the way you look at things in order to be able to go. Just because it don't look like it's going to work. Don't mean it ain't going to work. Do y'all know how many times, and I can only use myself, how many times the doctors told my mama no? How many times the doctor told me no? For stuff that I was asking them, was I going to be able to do? No, 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 no. No, it's not going to happen. No, you're not going to walk. No, you're not going to have any kids. No, you're not going to talk. No, 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 and no. And if my mom and I would have took all of those no's and just kept sitting on that and never went anywhere with it, I wouldn't be here. You have to go. Beyond what you see, you have to go even when it don't make sense. You have to go even when A and B ain't connecting the way that you think. Because why? God is going to provide every step of the way. He just wants you to take that push and go, y'all. Take that push and go. We think something is missing in our preparation process. That's why we over prepare before we go. But look at Isaac and Abraham. Abraham spoke it in faith. Isaac didn't know what was going on. But he was ready to do the purpose that God had placed for him and his father to do. And that was to go up there and offer that sacrifice. Isaac felt the sacrifice was missing. But he, because he said, Dad, where is the, you know, where is the sacrifice? But he was still willing to go because his father told him, God will provide. God had never failed him. So he knew God is going to provide. So let's go. Let's get to this purpose. God is going to provide y'all everything y'all need to operate in y'all purpose. Y'all ain't got to make up no more excuses of why you can't, of feeling inadequate, worrying about what other people are going to think, worrying about what other people are going to understand. It's time for you to go because your purpose is the reason why you were created to get something done. And it's the reason why you exist, y'all. So use this time, y'all. And I'm talking to myself, too. Because I'm steady growing and learning to tap into your purpose and not worrying about A and B connecting before you go. Because God is going to provide. In the next video, y'all, be blessed. I pray that this short video series was encouraging and that it helped you guys to understand what your purpose is. Gave you the push to pray about your purpose a little bit more to redirect your focus. I love you guys. I appreciate all your love and support. Y'all just don't understand. It means more to me than I will be able to express ever. In the next video, y'all be blessed.